Melissa. I am back with the LWPX 800 and we are going to make our first label, but we're going to do it using the Epson iLabel app. So let's take a look. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and launch the iLabel app and you'll see that it's going to go ahead and bring up this. This is kind of your home screen of the app here. So right away down on the bottom, I can see my PX800 printer and I can see that they're connected. So if they're not connected, it's going to show that X indicating that they're not connected. You can go ahead and tap the gear to connect them, but mine's already connected. So I'm good there. Now, what I wanted to show you is this label catalog that is included in the app. Now this is basically a library of labels that are already created and saved in the app for you. So there are tons of different categories and then within each of those categories, you can scroll through the different labels that are created there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and find the one that I want. There's a lot in here, so go ahead and you know peruse through those. Um, this is the one that I need here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Now any of these templates can be printed exactly as they are, just hit print or I can select to edit them. So if you wanted to change information or maybe adjust the label, you can do that too. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit edit. And now you'll see that it's brought my label. So again, I can do anything to adjust if I wanna change the font or anything like that, I can. What I actually wanna change here is some of the printer settings. So that is gonna be found in this little settings gear cog here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Now you'll see once I'm here, it's showing me my printer again and showing that they're connected. What I wanted to change is I wanna fix the margins. I want my margins to be on minimum, so I'm gonna select minimum. And then I want to turn the half cut on because I like that feature and I'm printing multiple print uh, labels, so I want to have that feature on. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. This is also where you can set the number of copies. So if you're looking for extra copies of a certain label, that's where it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my number of copies to three, that's what I need. And then when you're done, you can just hit the back button and it will automatically save any of those changes. Okay, so now again, it's applied that to my label. Anything else I wanted to change, I could, otherwise I'm ready to hit print. So I'm gonna hit the green print button here. It's gonna think for a minute and then it will still print out my labels. Now, something I like about the app is it actually keeps track of where it's at when I'm printing. So if I'm not right next to my printer, I can see where, what label it's on and I can see when the print job is done as well. So that's helpful. So we got my labels, perfect. Those look beautiful, wonderful. And now I can go ahead and apply these and I can close the app. I could save that label if I wanted to, but I'm ready to go. So that was making our first label with the LWPX 800 and the Epson iLabel app. If you have any questions about the app or the PX 800, feel free to reach out. We are here to help. Thanks again and happy labeling.